Welcome back ladies and gents. Now before I start my video tutorial, if you are new on my channel, what my channel is about is Edexo A-Level Maths. I cover each section of each chapter from the pure and applied textbook. Currently I'm working on the year 2 content and once the year 2 content is over, I'm going to bring you guys some year 1 content. So in this video tutorial, I'll be looking at sketching natural logarithmic graphs and reciprocal graphs. Let's start off with the juicy concept of sketching natural logarithmic graphs. Now, what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, is start off with the function f of x equal ln x and then sketch the graph of f of x equal ln x. So I've got f of x equal ln x and the graph of f of x equal ln x looks as follows. It's the following curve. The x-intercept is at 1 and the equation of the vertical asymptote, which is the y-axis, is just x equal to zero. Now, I want to look at the function f of minus x. Well, f of minus x is equal to ln in bracket minus x. All I have to do is go back to the function f of x equal ln x and replace the x's with minus x. Now, f of minus x, well, the graph of f of minus x is just the graph of f of x reflected in the y-axis. So, to sketch f of minus x equal ln minus x, I'm going to take this particular graph and reflect it in the y-axis. And if I do that, I obtain the following graph. The x-intercept is minus 1. The equation of the vertical asymptote, which is the y-axis, will remain the same and it will be x equal to 0. Now, I'm going to look at the function minus f of x now. Well, I know that f of x is equal to ln x, so minus f of x is just minus ln x. The way I sketch the graph of minus f of x is to take the graph of f of x and reflect it in the x-axis. So if I do that, I obtain the following result. So I'm going to be taking this particular graph and reflect it in the x-axis and the mirror image that I get is as follows. The x-intercept will still be 1. Now the equation of the vertical asymptote, which is the y-axis, will still remain the same and it will be x equal to 0. Okay ladies and gents, the shape of ln x is a, the shape over here, the shape of ln of minus x is b, the shape over here, the shape of minus ln x is c, the shape over here. Now question number one, I would like to sketch y equal 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x. Now the very first step is to work out the equation of the asymptote. Now to find the equation of the asymptote, all I need to do is set whatever I have inside the bracket equal to 0. So 2 minus x equals 0. And if I solve for x, I get x equal 2. Now, I want to work out the x-intercept To find the x-intercept, all I need to do is set y equal 0 So if y is equal to 0, the equation that I'm solving is 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x equals 0 Divide both sides by 3 and if I do that, I obtain ln in bracket 2 minus x equals 0. Now to get rid of ln, I need to apply e's on both sides. So e takes everything to its power. e and ln are inverses of each other, so they cancel out. So I get 2 minus x is equal e to the power 0, which is 1. Hence, if I solve this equation, I get x equal to 1. Now to work out the y-intercept, All I need to do is set x equals 0. So if x is equal to 0, I get y equal to 3 ln 2 minus 0 is just 2. So y equal 3 ln 2. Right people, so to sketch the graph of y equal 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x, what I need to do is look at shape A first. Over here I've got ln x, the coefficient of x is 1. 
but over here the coefficient of x is minus 1 okay so it can't be shape a let's move on to the next one ln in bracket minus x the coefficient of x is minus 1 over here the coefficient of x is also minus 1 okay so it could potentially be this particular shape over here if I move on to the next one I've got a minus in front of the natural log but in this particular case I don't have a minus in front of the natural log and over here the coefficient of x is 1 but over here the coefficient of x is minus 1 so the shape that y equal 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x takes is shape b okay so this particular shape over here now I'm going to sketch the graph of y equal 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x and if I do this okay what I obtain is as follows I label my asymptote which is x equal to 2 okay I've got my x intercept it is just 1 okay and I know my y intercept it is 3 ln 2 and the shape of the graph is this shape over here so if I sketch I obtain the following result so that there is the graph of y equal 3 ln in bracket 2 minus x let's have a look at question number two now it says sketch y equal minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 now the very first step is to work out the equation of the asymptote all you need to do is set whatever you have inside the bracket equal to 0 so x plus 5 equal to 0 and if I solve this equation I get x equal minus 5 now I want to work out the x intercept well to find the x-intercept all we have to do ladies and gents is set y equal to 0 and if I set y equal to 0 the equation that I'm solving is minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 equal to 0 now if I divide both sides by minus 2 I get ln in bracket x plus 5 is equal to 0 to get rid of the ln I need to apply e's on both sides and e takes everything to its power so I get e to the power ln in bracket x plus 5 equal e to the power 0 now e and ln's are inverses of each other so I can cancel them out I get x plus 5 equal to e to the power 0 which is 1 so I solve this particular equation and I get x equal to minus 4 now to work out the y-intercept all I need to do is set x equal to 0 so if I set x equal to 0 I get y equal minus 2 ln 0 plus 5 which is y equal minus 2 ln 5 right now I want to work out what the shape of the graph of y equal minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 is well all I need to do is go back and look at shape a b and c if I look at shape a that is ln x the coefficient of x is 1 and over here the coefficient of x is also 1 okay but there is no minus in front of the natural log over here but there is a minus in front of the natural log over here so it can't be shape a let's look at shape b the shape over here well that shape is valid when the coefficient of x inside the natural log is minus 1 over here the coefficient of x inside the natural log is 1 okay and um, over here you don't have a minus in front of the natural log but over here you do have a minus in front of the natural log so y equal a minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 can't be shape b hence it must be shape c let's look at shape c the coefficient of x inside the natural log is 1 over here the coefficient of x is also 1 okay um, we have a minus in front of the natural log and over here we have a minus in front of the natural log so y equal minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 takes this particular shape over here okay so we're looking at this shape I'm going to sketch the graph of y equal minus 2 ln in bracket x plus 5 ladies and gents and it looks something like this the equation of the vertical asymptote is x equal minus 5 so if I label that asymptote there you go the x-intercept is minus 4 and the y-intercept is minus 2 ln 5 
and we're looking at this particular shape over here. So the graph looks as follows. There you have it. Okay, let's move on to reciprocal graphs now. I'm going to start off by writing the equation f of x equal 1 over x. Then I'm going to sketch the graph of f of x equal 1 over x. So I've got f of x is equal to 1 over x. The graph of f of x equal 1 over x is as follows. Okay, I've got two curves. Right? The vertical asymptote is the y-axis and the equation of the y-axis is x equal to 0. The horizontal asymptote is the x-axis and the equation of the x-axis is y equal to 0. Now, I want the equation of f in bracket x plus 2. So, f in bracket x plus 2. All I need to do is go back to f of x equal 1 over x and replace the x's with x plus 2. So I get 1 all over x plus 2. Now, to sketch the graph of f in bracket x plus 2, all I need to do is take the graph f of x and apply a transformation on it. And the transformation is to take f of x and shift it two units to the left. So if I do that, I obtain the following graph. Now, the vertical asymptote which is the y-axis, gets shifted two units to the left and it goes to x equal minus 2. Okay? And the curves also shift two units to the left, so the graph looks something like this. Now, the equation of the vertical asymptote is just x equal minus 2. The equation of the horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis, is just y equal to 0. Okay, now I want to write down the equation of f in bracket x plus 2 on the outside. So f in bracket x plus 2 on the outside. Well, I know that f of x is just 1 over x, so I can replace the f of x with 1 over x. And then I just put plus 2 on the outside. Now, to sketch the graph of f in bracket x plus 2 on the outside, all I need to do is apply a transformation on f of x equal 1 over x. And that transformation is to take the graph of f of x equal 1 over x and shift it two units upwards. If I do this, I obtain the following graph. The horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis, gets shifted two units upwards, so it goes to y equal to 2. And these two curves over here also get shifted two units upwards. And if I do that, I obtain the following curves. Okay, now if I go back to the graph of f in bracket x plus 2 and I want to work out the y-intercept, all I need to do is set x equal to 0. And if I do that, I get 1 over 2. So the y-intercept over here is 1 over 2. If I go back to this graph over here and I want to work out the x-intercept, all I need to do is set y equal to 0. So 1 over x plus 2 on the outside is your y. You set that equal to 0. And then you just solve for x. And if you solve for x, ladies and gents, you should get x equal to minus 1 over 2. So the x-intercept over here is minus 1 over 2. Okay, by going through the concept of transformation on the graph of f of x equal 1 over x, now it should be easy to sketch the graph of each of the following equations. We know that the graph of each of the following equations is just a transformation on the graph of f of x equal 1 over x. So if I take the first one, all I need to do is take the graph of 1 over x and shift it 3 units to the left. This one over here, I take the graph of 1 over x and shift it 3 units to the right. This one over here, I just take this graph and shift it one unit upwards. This one over here, I just take this graph and shift it one unit downwards.